right now on Fox 35 News. A woman from Orlando has discovered that sandals can be life-changing, especially when that life has been affected by poverty and natural disaster. Fox 35's Dana J introduces this report on the shoes that are so much more than flip-flops. These are the Bettys. In a lot of ways, Julie Colombino is just like any other businesswoman. Her face lights up when she talks about her product. We love them. She's focused on sales. We want to be selling a thousand units a week. But there is a unique story behind these handmade flip flops called Rebuilders, and it starts with the women and men they're named after. This is the model Jolina, and Jolina has a special place in my heart because she was the first artisan that we ever hired, and she's also our first homeowner. 16 Haitian artisans craft the shoes entirely by hand and entirely out of recycled material. We use the sidewalls of tires and we've recycled over 4,000 tires in a five mile radius in Port-au-Prince. Colombino calls her enterprise Rebuild Globally. The shoes are a brainchild born of tragedy. She traveled to Haiti after the earthquake in 2010, saw devastation and improvisation. I saw women stacking four tires up high and throwing their trash inside, and then uh, I saw them light it on fire. <laughs> I was like, oh, and like this black smoke would go everywhere, and you're like, mm, that's not just a problem for Haiti, that is a problem for the entire world. Those women were more concerned with something else. They just kept asking for jobs, and I saw these tires burning and kids running around barefoot, and you just kind of put it all together, and it's just like, oh, well, let's just make sandals from recycled tires. It's been three years. They've made an estimated 8,000 pairs at the workshop in Port-au-Prince. 16 artisans earning a living wage doing it. Because of their job, have gotten out of the tent camps, built, like, bought their own property, built their own houses, taken their kids out of orphanages. Did you put your video on? On this day, Colombino is checking in online from Orlando. Bon bon, merci. She's home for a couple of weeks, trying to get more shoes in stores and bring on investors. That would give the artisans in Haiti more work and rebuild globally the resources to do good in other places. And I would love to see that in Paramore. I would love to see that, you know, like I was saying, in Detroit, anywhere where where there's a need for people to have jobs that bring dignity to their family they can um, and they can make a cool product and be part of a social revolution. There's the like any other successful businesswoman, she thinks her model can be applied all over the world. Dana J, Fox 35 News. The Colombino says that her flip-flops have become popular with surfers who like the idea of keeping tires out of the oceans. Of course they do. You can buy in the select stores. You can buy online. They do more than just make the shoes at the workshop in Haiti. If you'd like to learn more about that, you can also look for this story on our website, myfoxorlando.com. Mm -hmm. All right, fantastic idea. Right now here in...